guys welcome back I'm gonna try something ridiculous it's probably not gonna work but <clears throat> I'm gonna have a go uh, 40 centimeter square 16 inch canvas I don't know why it's got a little dot in it there hope it'll be all right it just came like that I'm gonna try a bloom one big bloom and just see how it goes just because I'm feeling crazy okay <clears throat> Uh, I'm not going to go through the recipe again every time I do one of these. Um, I've mentioned it quite a few times already in previous pours. Um, but I am using for my pillow this um, interior wall low sheen white paint. <clears throat> the little bottles here have got uh, Jo Sonia's paint in them mixed with pouring medium um, and the pouring medium is just the um, what's it called uh, it's it doesn't have any color in it it's an untinted um, low sheen interior paint so untinted right so that's what's in those uh, and they are mixed two parts pouring medium to one part of the Joe Sonia's paints rightio um, the cell activator is just Floetrol with Amsterdam paint and it's three to one. Three parts Floetrol to one part paint. So let's get on with this, hey, and see what madness I can create. Now, this is, if this doesn't work, I've wasted so much paint because look at the size of this canvas that I have to cover. I'm going to use half a tin. These tins are expensive, like $60. Oh my gosh, look at it all. All right, that'll do. <laughs> I think I've used like half a tin of paint. Hopefully I don't need any more. I can always add more. It doesn't look enough, does it? But we shall see. Now, because I'm going to do large circles, I'm not going to bother with the little nozzle. I'm just going to pour the paint out. And we'll go with the lime green first. And I'm not really sure how much to use, but that looks about the right size puddle, doesn't it? And then the turquoise. Like so. Go with some purple. And then we've got this kind of reddish orange color. Hopefully these colors will look nice together. And well, yeah, I'm hoping I'm using enough paint. I'm really not sure. Might just put a little bit more green on the outside. Because it's all going to vanish the color on the bottom, isn't it? And some of the magenta. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I'm a bit nervous. All right, give my cell activator a bit of a shake. Actually, I will use the nozzle. And I'm going to blow this with a hairdryer, you guys, because I think that'll be the best thing to do. I just want to make sure that I get enough in the middle there that it's not going to sink. All right, that's it. I'm going to get straight onto this before it all sinks, just on low and on cool. All right, wish me luck. Oh, it's a bit hard. I think I pushed too hard there with the hair dryer. that looking well it's looking good there and there over here not so much I think I think I've like dug in too much with with the paint 
Um, I wonder if I can put some more white on there. Like leave the middle, but put some more white just here. And see if I can blow that across. With, oh, it's going to be so hard though without messing everything else up, isn't it? Silly woman, what was I thinking? not working not sure what's going on there maybe I blew too much paint away let's uh, let's go with some little circles here little puddles and I'll try again so the rest of it's looking really pretty so yeah, I'm not sure what happened there I put a little bit less red actually that reds really taken over hey oh my gosh sure did okay let's go with the white again probably don't need so much white actually <clears throat> all right here we go actually that was silly of me putting the white on in the middle because i need the white here need to blow the white over the top. I'm not going to blow back into the middle, am I? Oh, phew. Okay. I did it. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Oh, my gosh. All right. Let's just leave it there for a few minutes. And um, see what's happening. Like there's some really pretty stuff happening in the middle here. And um, I didn't want to use my little blower because for this because it's only got a small nozzle. I needed something that was going to be wide enough to, you know, spread the paint. Um, I think probably a better idea is putting a line there and then blowing that way and then blowing this way because when you you blow through the center and then when you go this way you kind of disrupt what you've just done and then you go that way and you've disrupted again so but this is looking good so far I'm happy with it I think cross fingers <clears throat> it's very red though isn't it very red there now here it's quite low I can see it's dipped down so I'm gonna to have to just move the paint back and forth a little bit until I can Try and get this bit. See where that little blue bit right there is? Like it's it's down. It doesn't want to move. It's kind of catching on the canvas. So I've obviously gone too deep there. If I push up from underneath. <laughs> is that helping? Not really. Let's get a little bit of paint moving there. The rest of it's moving really well. It's just that section that doesn't want to move. I've obviously gone too deep there. So I'm not sure what's going to happen there, but let's get this paint moving anyway. I think I'll go off here first. I haven't decided if I'm going to go all the way over. I probably will. I'll just leave a little bit of white for now and come back because I can always go back over that later on. Now this is gorgeous, so don't want to lose that. This here, oh, shouldn't be pointing. This is a little bit muddy, so let's get rid of some of that. Uh, I think I had too much paint, you guys. Even though my puddles were relatively small for this size canvas, Uh, I think I did have a little bit too much paint on there. 
you can see how it's spreading really easily to the edges. Probably needed half of that amount of paint. But if this doesn't work, I'll just scrape this and do it again, eh? It's only paint. Expensive paint nonetheless, but it's only paint. I can just scrape it and do it again. And at least if I learn something from it, then I'm happy. I keep that little corner there. As long as I can learn something from each pour. Hey, look at these cells popping up on the edges. How weird's that? Never had that before. Now this bit, of, I'm not going to point over it because I've already dripped that bit of lacing there. I'm going to try and keep that and maybe go off more on the bottom there. Because that lacing's beautiful. Although, I'm going to lose some of it. Put some white back there. Get rid of some of that mud down the bottom. It's looking better, you guys. It's not amazing, but it's looking better. <laughs> um, yeah, way too much paint in my puddles. Now, let's get some of this red off the top corner there. And those weird green cells on the side can go because they're just weird. I keep that little bit of magenta. Oh, look at it, you guys. It's so pretty. It's really pretty. Like, it's not an amazing, amazing bloom or anything like I've seen some people do, but I like it. I'm happy with it. Oh, and for my first big one, I think it's okay. So I've got a lot of red up here, and then this is the section where I added that little small puddle. <laughs> That's it there. It hasn't really done very much. I have to try and concentrate on my blowing. Just going to bring this. Do I want to bring it down? Oh, no. I think I actually like it the way it is. I'm just going to. Oh, actually, how about, how about, how about? I try and get rid of some of that just there, that little bit of muddiness just there. What, I, what do you think? Um, it's always a risk because you might, you know, ruin something that you really do like. And I've got some pretty cells there. Just a little bit. I didn't want to take too much off. Turn it around so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Just coming back again. It's got a lot of movement in the in the sides, hasn't it? It's really pretty. I don't know whether I can't remember what that looked like before. It's still got some cells there. Got some lacing. I don't know, is that better? <laughs> I don't know. It looks as if I've got the these lacing through the centre there. All right, I'm going to stop playing with it. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to overstretch lacing and things like that. So let me just pick up a little bit of paint because I've put my fingers in the sides here. That doesn't look very nice at all. I think I made it worse. I need a little bit of yellowy green there. I can fix these up later. Just pinch a bit of that pink. So what do you think? It's not bad for the first time for a big canvas. Hey? I oh know, I was mad. Like, what do you think, a woman? You can't do a huge canvas. Go from a tile to a canvas. But hey.
Okay. You gotta give it a try, don't you? I don't like that white that I just put there. It needs a little bit of the green rather. It's a problem, see I put my fingers on the side there. That's why that's why I'm having trouble. Alright, I'm just gonna leave that and um Stop fiddling, woman. I'm going to leave that like that. And I'm going to take it down for a close-up. Actually, just let me look at it from here. Oh, I don't like that corner. I don't like this muddy corner. When I went around and looked at it from there, from your side, I could see it. I'm just going to try and get a little bit of that off. Go, 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 you good thing. Okay. Mud gone. Now, back to the middle. Oh, I think that's better, you guys. Yeah, much better. There's a little bit of mud here on the top near me. But um, overall... I think that's much better. How's that? How's my composition? All right, I'm going to leave it there. Back away from the painting. Yay! I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Yay! A little bit of muddy there, but it looks like a bit of an aurora, doesn't it? And there, aurora with the, now the, the lights and the colours move like that. What do you think? Have I got enough red here and enough white there? Or does that need to come down a little bit more? What I'm doing is I'm just basically centering that across diagonally. Okay. Oh, now I've got nothing to wipe my hands on. I didn't bring my cloth in, my other cloth. I wasn't planning on pouring. I was heating up my, my dinner, my um, butter chicken. I was heating it up and I thought... I've got this idea of what I want to do. I'm just going to go and do it real quick. If it doesn't work, that's fine. I'll take you down for a close-up. I guess it's, it's a little bit redder than what I was hoping for. But hey. Now, I did change my settings in my phone to autofocus in the actual settings of my camera of my phone so let's hope that it stays focused while I'm doing this because I have a lot of trouble with my focus don't I I'm just going to show you through the center first look at that white in the middle so pretty and it fades away there into the corners and that's where I added that little puddle. Oh, but focused on its own. Made that little puddle there. <laughs> Looks like some kind of fish, doesn't it? There's its tail. One of those, those um, fighting fish. That's what that looks like. Got a little bit of white background there. So the light corner here kind of complements that darker corner over there. Turn my light off. Oh, that's better, isn't it? That's better. I probably don't even need to pour with it on. Oh, wow, look at that. So pretty. I'm so happy with it, you guys. I don't know what I could have done to make it have, like, more lacing right up into the corners. Like that and like that in that corner I'm not sure I'll just have to keep playing around with it but I think if you had lacing like that everywhere it would be too much wouldn't it I don't know is it nice to have a little bit of negative space a little bit of difference here and there maybe it was just because I had too much paint the only thing I don't like is that little bit of muddiness there but I probably could tilt it off couldn't I 
like this whole section I can probably take that off I don't know I'm too scared to do it though maybe I might have a little try after I've gone I'll put the video away we'll see because these cells here look as if they could stretch a little bit more don't you think hmm I'm tempted I am tempted I should just be grateful you know the 70 30 rule if you're 70% happy with it leave it or you're going to end up with only being 30% happy with it because you ruin it and you overstretch it so anyway leave it at that hope you like it I do come around this way I like this way better oops I'm in the shadow okay thank you so much for watching and uh, I'm gonna go and eat my butter chicken now all right see you later bye for now